Got the, got a bitch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoes is out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I know I look like super, I just woke up type of look, cause I didn't. And I washed my face, brushed my teeth, and all that stuff. But I did want to get ready with y'all for work. If most of you guys don't know, I do work in a shop now in Brooklyn, New York. So if you want to get slayed by me, make sure y'all click that book link in the um, description box. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it there. I feel like I feel like a little stuffy, like whatever. Anyways, so this is the wig we're working with today. I couldn't bring the whole like stand because it's a lot going on. But we are working with a 12 inch water wave. Or I believe this is a loose wave, loose wave actually. Um, 13 by 4 frontal wig by Wild African Hair and yesterday I went and plucked it just a little bit can't really tell too much on camera but yeah I went and plucked it yesterday and I'm going to be putting it on but the only thing I'm going to be doing different this time that I don't usually do is um I don't think I'm going to glue it down I think I'm going to use the got to be free spray to um hold it down Speaking of that, I gotta go get my scarf. Y'all know I swear by my scarf. Hold on. All right, so now that I got my scarf, y'all know this is my shit right here. I got this from the beauty supply store probably a few months ago. And for some reason, I can't find the exact same one. This is the exact scarf that I like to tie my hair down with. I don't gotta do too much. It's already kind of ready to be put on, so this is what I do. Um, I'm also, usually I just be like listening to videos or watching videos while I do tutorials. But, um, today I think I want to talk to y'all. And I'm not even gonna lie, I really don't have much to talk about. I, if I had to be completely honest, I really don't. But I'm so tired of just doing straight hair videos. It's very annoying. I'm so tired of just doing tutorials. It's like, y'all probably seen none all of it. So I just try to do a little bit more different type of videos here and there. So, it is what it is. But yeah, so, I did pluck it off camera and everything like that. So now we're gonna get to installing. Now, this is a get ready with me. And um, I'm gonna be putting on some lashes and you know, stuff like that. So um, I'm trying to see what I wanna do first though. I don't know if I wanna put my hair and stuff on first or should I do my lashes? Something is telling me to do my hair first, then um, tie it down, then do my lashes. I'm not putting on makeup because I just feel like I'm breaking out so bad. My chin is just having an explosion right now. I'm breaking out all over my skin. It's super textured. I don't really know what's going on. I wash my pillowcases and stuff. It might be my makeup brushes, to be honest. But I'm just trying to stay away from makeup unless I really, really have to. And I feel like I really don't have to do that today. So that's pretty much what's going on with that. So first things first, this lace on the wig. The lace on the wig kind of gives me it's a little bit too dark for my skin so y'all already know what i'm about to do i'm about to take my rk by kiss um concealer and i'm about to put it all over the lace like all over the lace i'm gonna try not to do too much like i don't want to heavily cover it but um yeah this is pretty much what i'm gonna wind up doing and in case you're curious this is how the inside of the wig looks it comes with this band in it already if you know me you know i cannot stand the combs that come inside the wig already so i'm gonna cut these out i'm gonna cut this extra piece of lace off and i'm just gonna wear the wig glueless but it's glueless but i still want to provide some type of hold so i don't even know how i'm gonna title this video to be honest but i'm gonna definitely make it glueless so Let's get started. First things first, we're gonna get that concealer. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, it's hot in here. But I don't wanna crack a window because it's too cold and this heat was booming in my room today. Like, Also, that is actually something I can talk about. Um, My birthday is on Sunday. This Sunday coming up, my 23, my 23 birthday, oh my God. My 23rd birthday, Jordan year, and I'm excited. I'm a little overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. I swear, most, a lot of the stuff that I really be like nervous about, I usually don't get too worked up. And honestly, I didn't really want to do nothing like super big, like major on my birthday because I don't know. I just feel like as of, I've been on a mission and I'm not going to lie. I haven't been putting my best foot forward when it comes to this mission, which is like a battle with myself. I don't really know why I get like that sometimes. Sometimes I want to work. Sometimes I just want to 
crawl into my little ball and my little bubble and just not talk to nobody, not work, not do nothing. So I'm still trying to work on that. But yeah, I'm just a little, I didn't really feel like doing nothing too big because I really wanted, I had set goals for this year and I really just wanted to stick by that. My goals was to get my car first and then get my apartment for that's just my goals I said I'm not going on a trip for my birthday I'm not doing like the big fancy I know I always do like a nice custom fit or like a dress or whatever I'll insert some pictures yes it's a big weight difference I know whatever but yeah I know I always do like I just go all out for my birthday usually and even though I feel like I'm still kind of like slightly low-key going all out technically in a way a little bit but yeah those are the main things that i wanted to do for my birthday so i already got my car i'm working on getting my apartment right now i'm back at my parents house which is not technically a bad thing i'm not gonna lie to y'all in my mind it's a little bit of a bad thing because i feel like i'm downgrading but i had to realize i didn't move from miami because i couldn't afford to stay there no more that was literally far from what was going on i promise i really if anything i could have got a way better apartment in miami like right now financially was like financial yeah financially that wasn't the reason why i didn't stay it was just a lot of reasons why i just shouldn't have been in miami at the time and i wouldn't even consider moving back because i did love um living in miami but it was just too much like Y'all know, I have to so, like, I want to be transparent with y'all, but I'm a, I'm big on, I don't want nobody in my business, but it's just like, when you put certain things out there, or, you know, certain things, people just be wanting to know, so, I do understand that, but, I don't really care, like, obviously, I'm not gonna put nothing extreme out, but, I fuck with y'all, and everybody who supports me, so, hold on, let me put this cap on, because my brain's looking a little crazy, y'all know I don't even play with showing that so hold, just hold on a second. All right, y'all, I got the cap on. I'm not gluing it down. I'm not nothing. I just had to get it over these braids. Then my braids don't look too crazy, but yeah. Anyways, so let me just, oh, let me cut the combs out. So, um, yeah, I just, Miami, mentally, I was just fucked in Miami. If I had to be completely honest, I was just not doing good in Miami mentally, and I had to go. I was literally driving myself crazy. Like, I felt like I was going to just do things that I shouldn't be doing or shouldn't, like, trouble, get into trouble or something. Like, and I just don't got time for that because one thing about it, <clears throat> I'm a very, like, kind-hearted person. I'm very down to earth. I'm very humble. If I do say so myself, no pun intended, um, and when people try me, for some reason, I feel like a fucking, like a switch goes off in my head. And I just, I feel like my eyes start twitching. Like, I just get retarded because it's like, bro, I'm mad nice and you really, like, you really playing yourself right now. I'm not, like, I really punch you in shit right now. Like, and I don't like being like that. I don't even like getting like that because I'm a very positive person. So, it was a lot of things I had to just get away from. And partially because, yeah, nobody's going to be in my space that um, I don't allow in my space. But when you're dealing with certain things, sometimes we don't practice what we preach. That's just the human in us. And in a lot of cases, in most cases, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't practicing when I was preaching. I wasn't. And it just had to be, I'm going to um, also adjust these bands if you guys, sorry. I was trying to um, cut the combs out, which I already did. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on the last one. Make sure this is the right way. Yeah, and I'm just gonna put it on last one, make sure it's tight and fitted, and then we're gonna put the wig on. Oh, right. So, um, yeah, girl, or boy, whoever's watching. Whoo! I just had to get away. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, ever since I came back to New York, I feel like I've been doing way better mentally. Like, I feel very free, if I must say. I really feel that I feel free I feel like I have more control over myself and my emotions I feel I feel really good I really do and it's like now that I'm single I just feel like I move how I want to move I do what I want to do I talk to who I want to talk to I don't talk to who I don't want to talk to and I love that that's probably like the best part because I don't have to answer to nobody I don't have to do none of that stuff I can do whatever I want 
And no, don't not to say somebody was trying to control me, because definitely not. Nobody can ever control me. My father don't even control me. But <clears throat> I just feel like I just like it better this way. And then it's like on top of that, even though I don't have um, nobody can literally tell me what I can and cannot do or whatever the case. I just feel like everybody's just super team Paris right now. If you could read in between the lines. And I don't really understand what's going on because I am I'm not doing as much as I used to do nowadays. And, and that by that, I mean... Usually I would give somebody a lot of attention that would make them feel like, you know, whatever about me and let that develop into what it does. But this year I was just kind of just in my own zone. Like, I be chilling with people from time to time or spending time with people, whatever. But um, that would be it. But for some reason, everybody just like loves me right now. I'm like mm, high demand right now, to be honest with y'all. Why well, I look like I ain't plucked this wig, not even a little bit. The wig is literally plucked. Mm, whatever, I might pluck it a little bit more on my head. Because I don't want it to look unnatural either. But yeah, so I don't even want to really get into that. Even though I already kind of did a little bit. But yeah, anyways, on better. Um, on a better note, like I said, my birthday is Sunday. So I will be going out with my friends and everybody on Saturday. And we're gonna go to the spa and everything. I do want to vlog. I'm pretty sure I'm not bringing this big camera. I have a Canon, and I'm not bringing this big old camera. Like that's OD. So what I think I'm gonna wind up doing is I think I'm gonna wind up just um, vlogging off my phone and then making sure I show y'all something because I never really give y'all a good birthday vlog. I'm lying. Last year I did give y'all a good vlog. Don't even lie. If you didn't see my birthday vlog from last year, I would be in B. Oh my God. That B and B was a beautiful. That B and B was amazing. Oh my God. That B and B, y'all. Oh my God. Y'all gotta go watch that. And it, I just hate the fact that it was raining. That was pissing me off. I'm like, you really don't want to see me win. That's so jealous of you. Like, what the fuck? But <laughs> um, this year, like I said, we're going to the spa. And I would love. They, I, I wonder if they have a, um, like, you can't take pictures or record policy. Because I'm going to break it for y'all anyway. Like, don't take it. But um, I wonder if they do. I never even looked into it, to be honest. Like, I haven't really looked into it. Y'all, all right. Before we finish this discussion, I need to get this got to be on my hairline. Oh, my God. I kind of hate using this method. I'm not even going to lie. But I need some type of security. Even though this could be glueless, I don't need stuff sticking up from the sides and stuff. Because I just, I don't. So let me just stick this over with the glue. I'm gonna do, I mean, the free spray and the bow dry. Let me just get this on right quick. And then we're going to um, finish our discussion. Once again, I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to speed this part up so we can get straight back to it.
All right, y'all, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna just do my lashes and my eyebrows and stuff. I'm not gonna do too much. Once again, like I said, I don't wanna put on any makeup, so that's perfectly fine. I'm not even really gonna do, do my brows. I'm just gonna kinda like outline them or whatever. What time is it? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good on time. I got a half an hour to leave. So, back to this birthday stuff. I do want to vlog. Oh, I feel like this is like super heavy on my brow. I do want to vlog um, my birthday experience. I don't think I'm going to go too in depth. I don't know yet. I just might give y'all a bomb video. Yeah, I just might get, you know, something simple just to see like kind of what was going on. And I'm not too sure yet because there is a lot going on. So I feel like I do want to be a bit more organized should i say so that's probably what i'm pretty much gonna do but i really do want to record something like just something at least a little piece or something because i don't know if some of y'all have me on instagram and by the time y'all see this video everything probably is gonna be out already so i'm just pretty much going off of that so yeah other than that though, like I said before, I just, I have some goals that I'm trying to accomplish and 
I feel like I had a good year financially. I know I could have been 10 times better if I would have actually like put more effort into it. But it was a lot of mental things in play that really stopped me. And it's like, it's not so simple. It's just like, girl, get over it. Or girl, don't, you know, make this money. Don't let nobody stress you out. You know, it just be so much mentally sometimes. And I just feel like me putting on a facade that I'm okay doesn't make it any better. And I don't like pretending when I'm not okay. So if I'm not okay, I'm not going to come on camera. There's a few times that I've been on camera and um, I look, you know, happy and stuff. But deep down, I was probably crying in between um, scenes or whatever you want to call it. And I just don't like being like that. So if I'm not happy with whatever is going on with me right now, I'm just not going to make a video. And sometimes you might see me super happy. I might make two different videos in a day. Like, it just really all depends. Let me tell you how much I care about y'all because I'm trying to do my eyebrows and talk to y'all. Knowing damn well. But I can't do that. I think this is pretty good. I just kind of wanted my eyebrows to look like they were tinted a little bit. With some shape and some cleanliness. Because my eyebrow here is all going back ill. But yeah, so nowadays I'm doing way better. Um, if I do have those moments nowadays, it's not as severe. I'm probably just not motivated enough. And I feel like I put out my best pieces of work. I got to cut some of this here because it's annoying. I put out my best um, pieces of work when I'm um, happy. I'm in a good mood. That's what I honestly feel. So that's what I'm going to want to stick into anyway. Alright, so let me put on some brow gel. I really don't want to take all day. I'm putting on some lashes and I'm going to call it a day. Y'all see how long it took me to just do all that? I hate using um, got to be to hold down my wigs. I really do, but when you do fix it up, it, it does the job. I, I'll say that. It definitely does the job. So, And I want, I'm going to post on Instagram too and I'm going to use this video. I don't know how many people are going to see this video. It may not be the most exciting thing that's going on so i don't expect too many people to watch it but i do want to know what do you, what kind of videos y'all want me to see y'all say y'all want me to do pranks but it's not really nobody do pranks on like i'm just in a weird place right now like i'm put it like this i feel like i can't really i mean y'all know me i'm daring i'll do anything really like to a certain extent i don't be old dear but i look i'm so spontaneous i like to do a lot of things but People around me, not everybody's on that same type of timing, so I just gotta be careful with certain things I do or whatever the case may be. Y'all wanna see pranks? It's like I be thinking, like, what type of prank I'm gonna do? Y'all wanna see vlogs? Sometimes I don't feel like my life is that important, but not that I'm traveling back and forth and stuff like that, getting up early, interacting with more people. I think I wanna do more vlogs and just ask people, like, for permission if they mind being on camera or whatever um, the case may be. So I think I'm gonna wind up doing that. Hold on, y'all. I think I'm gonna wind up doing that and just show y'all the behind the scenes Ooh, of when I'm at um when I'm working on clients and stuff. I'm pretty sure y'all would enjoy seeing like different hairstyles or behind the scenes of um me when I'm at work. So if y'all wanna see videos like that, let me know. I will actually bring my camera to work with the tripod and do my thing because it is what it is at this point, right? So, I think I'm actually going to want to do that. But I do want to find a new brand ambassador for um, styling purposes. And um, obviously, I'm going to start off with probably somebody I know. And then branch off and do things. Because I do have a lot of um, things in the work for y'all. I do want to do some giveaways. I want to do some um, makeovers. I want to do a few things. And I'm actually not end up. It's starting off pretty well. May I, I, if I do say so myself. So I was not trying to sound so like. Yeah. But I've heard. But um, yeah it's starting off pretty good. And yeah most likely I'm going to start with somebody I know. And then we're going to make it fun. I don't want to be that girl. That doesn't give back or anything because like I said my subscribers mean a lot to me and although I feel like I'm not super like blowing up the way I want to right now everything's all over the place I'm I guarantee for a fact we're gonna get there I promise I don't know where there is just way higher than where we are right now so and I do want to be interactive with y'all so sure we just gonna have to see all right and this is gonna be the look for the day 
very simple still cute still hold on the baby is don't want to sit on the top but yeah i get what's going on and go push a little forward if you want to give yourself a little nice look very fun and bouncy and yeah that's pretty much it i do have to get dressed and get ready to go but most likely one thing about it when i go to work i just be wearing um sweats to leggings i like to be comfortable so that's probably what i'm about to go put on right now anyway so with that being said comment down below the touch what type of videos y'all want to see me do more i am doing more story times i got a few in the stash so don't even worry about that but any other type of videos and i'm talking more interactive videos they don't always have to be pranks and stuff like that just give me topics y'all want me to talk about or something and we can make it happen because I want to make my content just more interesting. I don't, I love doing hair, that's my passion, but I don't want to only just be doing hair. That's not what I made the channel for. So I just want to take a turn in a different direction and, you know, try new things and, you know, bring more people in, get y'all more interactive and just, you know, start a whole thing. If I had a dollar for every time I say, you know, I would probably be rich, like, whatever. Anyways, I'm about to get dressed, so I'll see y'all in my next video. Thank y'all for chatting with me, even though I literally probably didn't, I didn't hear shit y'all said or whatever, but I felt the energy, so that's all I needed. That was enough for me. I'm gonna see y'all in my next video, and yeah, bye my loves.